Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Briggs & Mortar Heights Facebook Live. My name is Michelle Briggs. I'm a realtor with Strata Texas, and I am here today with Walter Davidson and Bill Murray. They are co-owners of Amtel IP Phone Systems. You know, I say AKA your phone guys, right? So gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me today. Well, thank you for having us. <laughs> Wonderful. Glad to be here. Thank you, Bill. Now, there's so much to go over, and, and if you're watching and you've seen the Briggs & Mortar Heights Tips Tuesday, you know it's just not all about real estate. We really do highlight different businesses and different you know, companies that are in our area that can support your success as a small business owner or a homeowner or a future homeowner. So Bill is going to tell us a little bit about the history of Amtel and about you two. And, and what, I mean, what do you guys do? Tell us about who you are. Well, uh, Walter founded the company in 1986 with another partner. And uh, I actually came on board in 1994. And actually, I made my first sale with him. And uh, gosh, the rest is history. We've been together ever since. And then uh, some things changed back in the early 2000s. And uh, we uh, kind of moved on from where we were. And then he and I just kind of said, we're going to take over the company. And we did. And we've never looked back. And we are just phone guys. Uh, now, hold that, hold that thought. We're going to get into that, right? I know you're not just phone guys. There's right. so much more to you. If you go to their website, and we're going to post the website below. When you go to their website, you're going to see that not they're just not phone guys. They're not. They've been in business for a very long time. How large is your team? You talk about your techs. Uh, we probably, we've got about seven technicians out there. Plus, we've got resources. We do a lot of large cabling projects. Again, we're not just phone guys. What goes along with our business is the fact that if it's connected to a data cable, we're able to handle it. I mean, it can be wireless access points, cameras, copiers, faxes, phones. Uh, anything connected to a data cable, we handle it. Right. So we've got technicians that are versed in, in all of those different areas. And uh, a lot, most of the sales, as far as the team, it's, it's he and I, we do have two marketing people that work with us. Uh, we're a small company, but we have resources that if we get a really big project, like a school, mm -hmm. we can go to them and we can staff it with as many as we, as we need. So we can be as big as we need and because we're small enough, we can jump real fast. We're not like the big carriers. You know, a lot of times they take a lot of time to make things happen. We jump real fast. And we have to almost on a daily basis. And we're able to do that. We're well, able that's to nice. do that. I mean, that's a level of customer service that, you know, I, unfortunately, my personal opinion is missing in our world today. And it, and it is super important to really have a partner in this process. Well, that's one thing that's kind of separated us from a whole lot of our competition, especially some of what, some of what we call the big box companies. Uh, you're not a number with us. We know you. You have a name. And we are able to, you know, when you have a problem, we got a problem. Uh, not just about 25, 30 minutes ago, we had a customer call us that they're having, a, they got a down system. Right. Well, we immediately dispatched one of our techs. We pulled him off of another job that was he could do. It was all right. And, and we just said, look, get over there. They, we'll get them back up as quick as we can. Uh, and that's one thing that we've always done. We've just, customers are family. You know, exactly. We're going to take care of them. You know, Bill, I've known you for a few years now, and it, it, it definitely, you know, when I'm around you and we're in conversation, I, it, I feel like I've known you for 50 years, like we've known each other forever. So I can see how every single client would be considered your family, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, again, a lot of our customers, well, we'll get to you in a week or two. We've inherited so many customers only because of our customer service side. Uh, and another thing that we do that has always been part of our history is we don't go into a, if we inherit a customer or if we go in to see a, a customer, we do never we never go into a customer and tell them, hey, your phone system's old, it's it's no good, throw it away. You need to replace it with a, a new phone system or maybe go to the cloud 
We don't do that. I mean, we've got customers that are still using systems we sold them 20 years ago. It was a good quality system then. Parts are available. There comes a point in time when their software maybe, you know, it gets a little iffy, but we will help them keep that old system running until they're ready to buy something new or look at things new and we'll give them lots of things to think about. But the thing is, is that we don't go in there and pound them and, and literally harsh word, but we don't lie to them. We don't tell them, well, your, your three-year-old system's a piece of junk. We have, we have, we run into new, we run into companies where new sales reps are taught that angle to tell them, look, you got to replace this. They don't even ask how old it is. It's three years old. I'm sorry. You know, there are things that if we can't do anything with the system, we've got people that we've been, we've known for years that we can refer to. Right. You know, right. we can call them and say, Hey, John, they've got this and we don't do that. But man, it's, it's three years old. They don't like this care, this other company. They'll take care of them because they're good people, you know, but we never, we never go in there with a sales attitude that we're going to pound them until they buy something new. We've always been on a collaborative basis that, you know, tell us consulting basis, tell us, tell us what's going on, but we'll keep an old system running until yeah, it's time right. to say, Hey guys, it's yeah. time. To it's, go. time. It's, it's time. It's time. <laughs> well, I love that because, you know, normally when you have a small business or you have a, I'm an, I don't care. I'm, a business period. A lot of times a phone system may break down. It's just not at the opportune time. Right. Or, you know, or the, it, it, the last thing that they're thinking about is replacing their whole, whole system in the height of their, their peak of sales season or whatever that is for them. Yep, so it's nice time. to have somebody that will come in and really create something that's going to work and provide alternatives just in case for the future. So well, again, we've inherited a lot of customers like that because our competition and sometimes it's the incumbent uh, dealer is just trying to sell them something new and get them out of something they sold them three or four years ago. And it's not repairable. It's not, you know, this and that. And we'll go in there and say, wait a minute, wait a minute. We know this system and I think it can, uh, we can keep it running. We did that recently with a company that had a voicemail that died. Well, guess what? We could, you can, that particular voicemail on that system was easy to replace. And we just replaced it. We we inherited them from another company. Because we <laughs> I love it. that. Yeah, well, we you, didn't tell them the truth. Yeah. Well, at the very beginning of this, you know, I stopped you because I said, oh, wait, wait, you're more than just phone guys. So, Walter, share with us a little bit. And w really, what does that mean? You're not just phone guys. Talk about the cabling. Like, what, well, what else? We do is a lot of other things. We do a lot of infrastructure cabling or what they call network cabling, including fiber optics. And of course, when Bill was saying we connect everything to it, so you know, technology has changed over the years. So wireless access points are real important. So we do a lot of those. Cameras are really important to people. Um, so we do a lot of, of camera systems. Um, and you know, now the hosted or the cloud-based um, phone systems are really prevalent now, and everybody's doing that. But where we are different on all of that is you can still see us eye to eye. We will come to you and meet with you where most of our competitors now in the phone industry are call us up, tell me how many you need, let me send it out. And when you look at your phone and you have 20 buttons on the phone, two of them are programmed because they didn't consult you and figure out what you needed. They just put it in. You are $25, $30 a month a user. Okay, there you go. Good luck. You know, kind of like, I hate to say this, but like a cell phone. Here's a cell phone. Now it's up to you to learn how to use it. So we want to be there for you. And most of those competitors that we have now that are large competitors, they send you a video. Here's your training. Good luck. Hope you know how to run your business. Plug your phone in and it'll just work. And, and it's amazing when I'll hit a customer and I'll go in and I'll see an operator there and she has a hundred people in her office and she's using a phone that has three buttons <laughs> where, where she used to be able to just touch John. Oh, here, let me call. And they don't have it set up. Can they still do that? Yes. But do they have that set up like that? No, because the people that sold it to them really are only concerned about the $30 a month or $40 a month. They're yeah. going to get out of the user. So they well, don't need kind of, them. Right yeah. And that's kind of the purpose of what we do, what we're doing today is really to, to put the message out there because when you own a business, you want to have the proper phone system. It is about having that level of customer service. 
as well as providing that support to, I always say the director of first impressions, right? <laughs> the receptionist. So you, you too, having the conversation with them prior to even recommending what they need, because it is a conversation to have to find out what they need to, instead of having, you know, 20 buttons when they only need five. Well, he walked into a deal the other day to, to, to talk to them about their phones and their cameras. And really, to be honest with you, their biggest need was a paging system. <laughs> I mean, it's connected to a cable. Okay. But in the conversation that he was having, they needed paging and they needed music, uh, in a certain fashion, uh, for some of their studios and lo and behold, uh, uh what turned in was phones and, and, and some cameras. He had to design a complete paging and audio system for this company. And we just did a cable job for a company and lo and behold, they're setting up a recording studio, much like what we're doing, but they'll have 14 monitors and they do radio on iHeart and they do uh, financial updates. Mm. We did a pretty and, good. And we designed the room for them. Yeah. So, mm. so they're, so they're going to have a marvelous recording facility for doing their radio spots. Well, they're going to, you're going to have to get on the radio spot. <laughs> yeah, we, we'll ask. <laughs> they probably will. They, we took care of them. They, you know, and they're, and we're good friends with them now. Well, yeah. then you'll get on. I'm sure. I'm sure you will. Well, I love the fact that you like, so you're not phone guys. You do the cabling, you're setting up these studios, you're designing them. Again, it's true partnership and in really supporting others to succeed. Oh yeah. At the end of the day. And, and to us, you know, a phone is a tool but it's only as good as the person who's using it. Yeah. You know, I, I can swing a hammer and nail a nail, but I can't build a house. Yes. You know? <laughs> and, you know, since this pandemic, you know, since we've been going through all of this, like everybody is, mm -hmm. and been doing the Zoom, that's opened up a whole lot of doors uh, in the sense that, uh, well, where we were setting up uh, remote phones for people in March, holy mackerel, in February, March, and April, we were, I mean, we were almost, you know, 24 seven for many days, just helping mm -hmm. people get situated at their houses with their phone. We can do this on the computer. You can, but, but the phones we had to set up, we've got a new product now that is absolutely incredible uh, because it is, it is the only, mm -hmm. I'm not going to call it a cloud-based product, but it's, it's a browser based product, which <laughs> means I can call you from any device that I've got licensed from anywhere. And we're we're introducing it real soon. Well, that is that is our next point of conversation. It's perfect segue going in. And if you're just joining us today, my name is Michelle Briggs. I'm with Strata Texas. We are having a conversation with Bill Murray and Walter Davidson. They are the co-owners of Amtel. IP phone systems. I want to make sure I'm saying that correctly. So we talked about the history of the company and how long they've been in business and how they became their partners in business, as well as, I mean, it's, look, it's important to have an expert and these are your experts, these two guys here uh, and their team, right? They have a team of techs um, that will take care of you and your needs. And they're not just phone guys, they're cabling guys. They just shared with us how they they have set up this complete studio and designed this studio for an iHeart show, radio show. So they are truly here for your success and partner with you and have the conversation and not just throw a phone system at you, right? So what I'm, what I'm asking you, if whoever's watching or if you're watching the replay, hashtag cable below, hashtag cable below, and Bill will reach out to you and you, you guys have a conversation. He's not going to charge anything to have a conversation. If you own a small business, it, you're looking to move. We're going to talk about that. That's our tips. Tip for tip, tip Tuesday. That you guys, that you have to think about that. I think a lot of people wait to the last minute to think about the phones because they think it's a click of a button and a click of a button. It's so much more than that. We're going to talk a little bit about that. But tell us, tell us about this new system you were just sharing. Okay, this so new we product. actually have. We have two new products that we're introducing. One of it's called Wild X, and really what it is, it's a browser-based phone system, meaning that every user could have 10 different devices. So if your device was your cell phone, 
if that's where you were at at that moment, I can intercom you. You can call a customer, deliver the caller ID from the office. If your device is a tablet, same thing. I have. If it's a computer that you have at home, but then you have one at your office, those are just part of the 10 devices. It could be a desk phone, if you wanted a desk mm -hmm. phone, which a lot of people, me at my age, I still like <laughs> the handset and the desk phones. So, you know, you can have that also. But if I was in a customer's office and I would knew that I was going to be on a project for half the day, I can just log into their browser and move my phone there. So if anybody needed to chat with me, call me, text me, you know, anything I would need that would go through the phone, it pops up on my screen. So I'm live anywhere. That's awesome. So if that's what you were talking about, browser? Browser your, based. Yeah, because browser. all you have to do is put in your... I think Google. Your, your IP address. So, you know, Go ours, to is, Google and ours is amtelpbx.com. So you kind of put that in there and sure enough, if you got the login credentials, then we are a phone right now on your PC. So not that I'm going to recommend this. And if somebody was on vacation, they could literally forward their, their office phone to their cell phone and still be able to answer the phone while they're on the beach? Yes. As a matter of fact, exactly. <laughs> Not yeah. that I'm going to do that. So, and no, there are people that need, look, there's people that need that. No, no, it's wonderful. Or if you're just on the go. Oh, today, that's where it's today's at. Today's day and time. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, my daughter. Mobility. My daughter's is a good example. You know, they all had to work at home. They're both school teachers. So, you know, they were doing the online school teaching. But then all of a sudden, they couldn't teach at home because there was too many people there. Too much noise going on. So we gave them offices out of our office, but we allowed them to set all this up so they could. Um, right. And the system allows video. So it's, you know, you could have a 30 way video conference if you want. Within your company. Yeah. Uh, or within customers. It doesn't matter. You yeah. get a 30 way video conference. Each person can have this. So no You're Zoom. You're not limited. You're not using Zoom. Um, you're using, you know, this is called collaboration. So you use their product. Right. Um, it's more secure than Zoom. Nobody can cut into it. So, right. you know, there's benefits. To Highly it. encrypted. You know, yeah, so there's that. Good. But it's just an amazing product. Um, but it's not necessarily for everybody. You know, so that's why we carry different products. You know, we want to really find out what your needs are. Uh, and yeah. if this is, then we have it. And it's quite price competitive. So it's not like I'm going to, you know, oh, gosh, yes, but we're the most expensive dog on the block. It's, it's not. And a lot with a lot of cloud-based systems, Michelle, uh, with a lot of cloud-based systems, when you sign up for it, um, the thing, the, the bad part about it is, is that the phone lines themselves, the they're called SIP lines. Those phone lines themselves are provided by that carrier, that person, that company that's that's giving you the phone. You have no control over it, and if there is a problem with those lines, like with latency or with buffer problems or jitter, there's really not a lot you're going to do with it. The reason we like Wild X is because of the fact the customer can choose where they get their phone lines. Mm -hmm. So with that, you still have control. So if you like AT&T mm -hmm. phone lines, we mm -hmm. can use those. If you want to use SIP phone lines, which we like, we can use those. But if the carrier is independent, we just program it in and say, here's the care. And the other good part about it too, Michelle, is the fact that you still got us. If yeah. you've got a problem, you pick up the phone and you call us. I mean, our customers have our, all of our numbers. I mean, call us in relation or, or, or in comparison to a cloud system. You want service, you're going to call an 800 number and you may be on for 45 minutes, an hour or more just to tell them that uh, that your phone lines are not acting right or the fact that you need a button changed on your phone. Okay, well, good luck. I mean, really? You don't lose us. We still can get into your system just like we do today, and we can get in and we can make those changes for you, and it's done. You don't lose us. You are, you are giving me some crazy flashbacks when I had my office trouble phone days. I'm so glad I'm out of there. And then on top of that, you still have the back office of WildX if you needed them. Incredibly. So, so it's a bigger team at that point. 
wonderful tech support for us. Wonderful. Well, gentlemen, I so appreciate you taking time out of your day to be with us on the Briggs and Mortar Heights Facebook Live. The information that you shared with us with the cabling, the phone systems, I mean, the history and who you are. Again, everyone, hashtag cable. Put that below if you're watching. Bill will reach out to you. And it being Tips Tuesday, what is your tip for anyone that's watching? The biggest tip that we always see happen, and it's hard on companies, is if you're moving your phone lines, they take 21 business days to move. So you have to put that call into the carrier. When you know you're 30 or 60 days out, you can always push the date, but you've got to start the process. Right. Well, I think that's a great tip because I, I think I mentioned earlier or when we were having the conversation is, I think that's one of the last things that people think about. I, I do truly believe that people think it's just, oh, just hit that button, let's switch off here at this address and turn the button for that address. It, it just doesn't work like that. No, well, they think about the furniture and they think about the files and they think about all of that. But then all of a sudden there's an uh-oh moment when they're going, well, what about the phone system? Oh, uh, yeah. and we can jump. I mean, we've helped people you know, get a call on Tuesday and we got to move on Friday. We can do that. But, but the carriers, Carrier. the mm. people that control the phone lines yeah. don't necessarily yeah. jump that fast. Mm -hmm. And they have regulations. You know, did you cross a certain kind of um, area code thing so that they mm. have to go through to get it passed? Yeah. Just more time. Yeah. Right. Well, I think that's an excellent tip to end our t Tips Tuesday. My name is Michelle Briggs. I'm with Strata, Texas. I always say, like my Facebook page, follow me on Instagram. All you have to do is search R-E-L-T-R, -E the number four and the letter U. And if you're watching today on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Tips Tuesday, the first three Tuesdays of the month. And we have plenty more. Exactly. Plenty more great tips, and we've got other tips from the prior Tuesdays. So join us next week for Tips Tuesday, 1 o'clock. Thank you, gentlemen, again. Thank Bill. you. Have a great day, Bye -bye. and we Thanks, really Lauren. appreciate it. Take care.